7 casting all your care upon him for he careth for you he cannot fail he careth for you he will not disappoint you he careth for you be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a running lion walketh about seeking whom he will devour and i'm not one of them whom receives steadfast in the faith knowing that the same affliction accomplishing your brethren that are in the world i have overcome and of the giants this may surprise you means nothing nothing i want to buy something there's no money nothing i want to even buy the form so that i can take exam there's no money nothing i want to move here i don't have any contact and it's not what you know it's who you know nothing nothing is like a giant before many people and they don't have the strength they don't have the resources they don't have anything at all and there is nothing supply will come today miracle surplus will come today that nothing a big zero in your life that stands in your way i don't have anything i don't have anybody i don't have any material thing and i don't have any money and no provision nothing standing as a giant is conquered luke chapter 5 in luke chapter 5 i'm reading from verse 4 luke chapter 5 verse 4 now when you are left speaking he said unto simon launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught you are going to catch and in verse 5 and simon answering said unto him master we have toiled all the night and have taken and have taken that gives people depression it gives them distress it gives them sorrow it makes them look at the future the future is bleak and black the future is like there's no future because we have nothing we have taken nothing nevertheless at thy watch tonight this moment of might i will let down the net and when they had this done they enclosed they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their nets break net breaking blessing tonight net breaking breakthrough tonight net breaking prosperity tonight where there was nothing everything is going to come the giants the giants of their gods the giants of infirmity the giant of uh, adversaries, the giant of nothingness, the giant of terror, terror. They're terrified because look at what is happening. Look at the news we're hearing. Look at what they're saying from the village. Look at what they're saying from everywhere. And this terror comes to them as, uh, as uh, you know, a giant. And it's like, where can we go? How far can we reach? All those terrors are taken away tonight. Look at Isaiah chapter 54, and I'm reading from verse, uh, I'm reading from verse 14. Isaiah chapter 54, reading from verse 14. In righteousness shall thou be established. In righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. A new day has come. A new possibility has come. You'll be far from oppression in Jesus' name. Thou shalt not fear. Giants will not stop you. The fear of giants will not stop you. And from terror, for it shall not come near you. From terror, it shall not come near you. Verse 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, 
thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 15. Jeremiah chapter 15. Jeremiah chapter 15. I'm reading here from verse 20. And I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee to save thee, and to deliver thee, says the Lord. And I will deliver thee out of the hands of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hands of the terrible. You will walk over them. You will march over them. You will move on in Jesus' name. Amen. Giants, G for gods, I for infirmity, A for adversaries, N for nothingness, T for terror, S for the storm. Storms of life hinder some people. And they cannot, you know, they're galloping and they're running and they're saying, I'm going there. I'm getting it. They're excited. All of a sudden, a storm arises. And that storm becomes like a giant standing before them. And it's like, oh, they've come again. They've started again. No, you're going to overcome. I said, you will overcome. Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4 verse 35. And the same day when the evening was come, he says unto them he says unto you I said he says unto you let us pass over to the other side. You are going to the other side. You remained on this side for too long a time. Now the day of progress has come. The day of success has come. The day of achievement has come. The day of victory has come. The day of dominion has come. Let us pass over unto the other side. And when he had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. Look at this, look at this. Verse 37. And there arose... And there arose, and there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full, and it was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they wake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? No, you will not perish. He told you, I will make you fishers of men. You cannot perish. He said, you are going to reign over the 12 tribes of Israel. You cannot perish. He said, these are my brothers, my sisters, and my mother. Doing the will of God, you cannot perish. He says, I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you unto myself. So that where I am, there you will be also. How can you perish? Who is telling you a lie that you will perish? Who is deceiving you, blindfolding you that you will perish? You will not perish. I said you will not perish. In verse 39, and the arose is arising for you. And he rebuked the wind and he said unto the sea, peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm in your life. There's going to be a great calm. In your soul, there's going to be a great calm. That giant is defeated. The giant of the storm is conquered in your life in Jesus' name. Psalm 107, Psalm 107, I'm reading from verse 29. Psalm 107, verse 29, Psalm 107, tell me the verse. Look at it, look at it. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof are still the giant of a storm in your life that thing that is running that thing that is doing like they will swallow you up 
everything is calm tonight. Verse 20, verse 20 of that same Psalm 107, he sent his word. Why is he sending the word tonight? He sent his word and he healed them. I can see them there. He healed them. I behold the healing there. He healed them. I see all the ache and all the pain and all the fever and he healed them. I see the person that is saying, I didn't even want to come. I, I didn't know I could reach here today. And he healed them. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Giants are conquered tonight. You are going to move forward. Everything that tried to stop your way, the giants, they are conquered tonight. And what Caleb will shout, what Caleb will say, let us go up at once. Everybody, let us go up at once. For we are well able. I will go up. At once today. Even before this week runs out, I'm going to achieve. I said before this week runs out, you are going to achieve. You are well able. What are you? You are well able. You are well able. All the giants are cleared out of your way in Jesus' name. Point number three now. Point number three now. Confirming the measureless gifts of the Almighty. Confirmation tonight. My brother there, I say confirmation tonight. My sister, daughter there, I say confirmation tonight. Jeremiah, Jeremiah. I'm reading from chapter 32. Jeremiah. Chapter 32, and I'm reading from verse 17. Jeremiah, chapter 32, we're reading from verse 17. You are conquering. Look at this. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power, and stretch out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. In my life, there is nothing to your hand for thee. All these challenges around you, there is nothing to your hand for him. All this sickness, all this infirmity, there is nothing to your hand for him. You will solve your problem tonight. Verse 18, thou showest loving kindness unto thousands. Thou showest loving kindness unto thousands. The thousands are here tonight. Thou showest loving kindness unto, I said unto, he's blessing everybody tonight. How can he pass you by? He's saving all sinners tonight. How can he pass you by? He's healing all sick people here tonight. How can he pass you by? He's showing his love to everyone, all the thousands here tonight. How can he pass you by? He showeth loving kindness unto thousands and recompenses the iniquity of the fathers in the bosom of their children after them. And the great and mighty God, the Lord of hosts, is his name, great in counsel. Mighty in war. For thine eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men to give everyone according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doing. He'll give you something before you go. Isaiah, Isaiah, chapter 55. Isaiah, chapter 55, reading from verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he's near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the, and the righteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. Mercy tonight. Mercy tonight. Grace tonight. The goodness of God tonight, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways, my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, coming upon you, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not either, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth, and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be. So shall my promise be. So shall my strength be. 
so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It shall accomplish. In your life tonight, it shall accomplish that. It shall accomplish that that I please. And it shall prosper in the scene whereunto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy. Tonight, ye shall go out with joy. Every day of this week, of this month, of this year, ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the sun shall come the fir tree. Instead of briar shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name and for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. God gives are available for you today. His offer of unlimited power is available for you today. Christ has paid the price and Christ has shed his blood so that you'll have the gift of salvation, full salvation. You'll have the gift of righteousness the gift of sanctification, the gift of healing, the gift of health, the gift of endowment of power from on high. Power upon you tonight. Power baptism. Fire baptism. Every chaff in your life, it will burn away tonight in Jesus' name. Complete deliverance. No partial deliverance tonight. I got a little, uh-uh. You're not getting a little tonight. You're getting complete deliverance in Jesus' name. Yeah. Dominion. Yeah. Authority. Yeah. Sufficient supply. Yeah. Answers to prayer. Yeah. You're going to have a fuller life. Yeah. You're going to have a richer life. Yeah. You're going to have a deeper life. I've been hearing, I've been hearing of deeper life, deeper life, deeper life. And, you know, I didn't even understand how deep it will be, how high it will be, how broad it will be, how great it will be tonight, tonight. Somebody there tonight. You're going to have richer life, deeper life, fuller life in Jesus' name. Higher life. Greater life. The inner life. All things are available for you now. Happiness, that's yours. Yeah. Healing, that's yours. Yeah. Holiness, that's yours. Yeah. And heaven, that's yours. Yeah. Inheritance, that is yours. Yeah. Because tonight, we come to the Almighty. I said tonight, you come to the Almighty. Every prayer you pray tonight will be answered. Yeah. Everything you open your mouth to tell the Lord tonight, it is done already in Jesus' name. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do. Is our God able to do tonight? Is the Almighty able to do tonight? He will do. I said he will do. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or see. I'm going to go back there because I need, this one is just for me. I said, this one is for me. I said, this one is for me. Unto him that is able. Unto him that is able. Able to do. Exceeding abundantly. Above all that I ask. All that I seek. According to the power that worketh in me. Unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ throughout all ages, worlds without end. And somebody said, Amen. Amen has entered your house. Amen has entered your heart. This is your moment, your moment of might, your moment of might. I see Amen written on your forehead. I see amen on your way. Step amen. Amen. As you are walking, one, two, one, two. Amen. 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 Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, amen. 
Amen. Amen. This is the moment. This is the moment of his might. The moment of his power. The moment of his provision. And the moment of your miracle. It's doing it tonight. It's doing it tonight. It's doing it tonight. It's doing it tonight. It's your moment. It's your moment. This moment will not pass you by. It will forgive your sin. This moment will not pass you by. It will break every chain, every shackle in your life. This moment will not pass you by. It will heal your sickness. It will provide for you. All those giants are cancelled. All the gods of the land against your life. All of them, they are brought down tonight. All of them, they are brought down tonight. That's an amen in your life. Amen, so let it be. Amen, so let it be. Any sin you confess tonight, it will forgive. Any sin you confess tonight, it will forgive. Any sin you confess tonight, it will forgive. It's the moment of his might. It's the moment of his might. It's the moment of his might. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Tell him, tell him. The moment of your joy. The moment of your happiness. The moment of your inheritance. The moment of your deliverance. The moment of your dominion. Tell him, tell him, you have it tonight. You have it tonight. You have it tonight. This is the moment. It will not pass you by. It will not pass you by. It will not pass you by. Joy, happiness, glory, grace, gift, goodness, healing, deliverance. It will not pass you by. This is the moment. This is your moment. The moment of his mind. The moment of his mind. He answers every prayer tonight. He answers every prayer tonight. He answers every prayer tonight. He cleanses your heart. He changes your life. He'll transform you completely. This is the moment. It's the moment of your victory. It's the moment of your victory. Giants will fall. The giants will fall. The giants are conquered tonight. All those gods, all those idols, all those magicians, they fall before you tonight. And the giant of infirmity, and the giant of sickness, and the giant of long-standing mountain, all those things are gone. They are gone. They are gone. They are gone tonight. You'll walk over them. You'll trample over them. Victory for me. Victory for me. Victory for me. Victory. Victory. Success. Abundance. Joy. You conquer tonight. You conquer tonight. You conquer tonight. It's there. The victory is so nearby. Stretch out your hand and get it. Stretch out your hand and receive it. He gives you tonight. Success. All those things standing in your way. They remove tonight. Remove tonight. The adversaries are conquered. The adversaries are destroyed. Open doors before you. Doors of opportunity before you. And doors of prevailing before you. Now you can move on. And now you can make progress. And now you can leave all those parts of darkness behind you. And now you can rise up and walk. Now you can open those eyes and see. Now you have all the inheritance of heaven available for you. And it says, rise up and walk. Rise up and succeed. Rise up and make progress. Rise up and move the mountain. Say to that mountain. Say to that mountain. Say to that mountain. Be thou removed. And it is gone. It is gone. It is gone. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Every prayer you pray here tonight is answered. Every proclamation we make here tonight is fulfilled. All the giants will come against tonight, they're destroyed. 
the powers of their gods, the authority of their gods, and the magic of their talisman. Tonight, 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 destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. Infirmity gone, impotence gone. It's gone. It's gone. Now you are complete. Now you are complete. Now you are complete. All the adversaries against your way, against your progress, all the adversaries stopping you. They come in the dream, they come in the day. They come through so-called friends and they come sometimes directly like an enemy. And you stand tonight like a militant soldier of the cross and whatever you say to those adversaries tonight that defeated and conquered tonight doesn't matter how long the problem has been there 38 years they're going tonight 40 years infirmity is going tonight 60 years of an adversary is conquered tonight and the nothingness, and the nothingness, and the nothingness. I have nothing. I hold nothing. I see nothing. I keep nothing. Everything is empty. Everything has been vacant. Tonight, there's divine supply. That giant of nothingness. It's cancelled tonight. Cancelled. Cancelled. Destroyed. One stone out of five will bring that Goliath down today. One prayer tonight will bring those giants down. Rise up and move. Leave all the fears behind you. Leave all the littleness of faith behind you. And leave all the faithlessness behind you. And just understand that now with the might of the Almighty, you're moving on, you're moving on, you're moving on, and you're going to conquer. There's no doubt about it. There's a shift.